Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're coming across a VC runtime 140.dll is missing error on your Windows 11 computer. So if you're coming across this message, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve it without too much of a hassle. And we're going to go ahead and jump straight into it. So we are going to start off with a couple different things we're going to try for today's tutorial. First thing would be to actually open up Google Chrome or any web browser for that matter, doesn't really matter. And you want to search for Visual C++ 2015 Redistributable. And go ahead and search for it. One of the best results should be from a Microsoft domain here. Download Microsoft Visual C++ 2015. Go ahead and select that. And then you want to select your correct language on this page and then select the download button. We're going to go ahead and select the proper version for us, so the Time64 version if you're on Windows 11, and select the next. And once it's done downloading, go ahead and open it up. And you can minimize or close out of the web browser at this point. You want to agree to the license terms and select install. So it's already installed on the computer, so that's why we don't have to go through the installation process. But if it wasn't, follow along with the on-screen prompts and then restart the computer. And then hopefully it would have resolved the problem. If you're still having a problem, something else you can try here as well would be to go back onto your web browser and search for VC runtime 140.dll. Just go ahead and search for that. One of the best results should be from a website that says dll slash files.com. Go ahead and open that up. And if you scroll down a little bit on this page here, there should be a download option here. Uh, you want to make sure you're getting a 64-bit version. And just go up near the top. This should be the more up-to-date version. So this will change as time moves on. But go ahead and select the 64-bit download here. So selecting the orange download button. Give it a moment to begin the download process. And it should open up, or should be a compressed folder here. So I'm going to go ahead and show in folder. Minimize out of here. I'm going to double click on this compressed folder, and then I'm going to drag this DLL file over to my desktop. So I just dragged and dropped it over. Now, since we're already in this window, you can just go back to this PC on the left side. If you already closed down, you can just open up File Explorer again, search for it, or select the menu icon down here. And then you can just go to this PC on the left side. Double click on local disk, so double click on it. Double click on the Windows folder. And then finally locate System32. If for whatever reason you don't see it, you can click the View option up at the top. Select Show, and then you want to make sure Hidden Items is selected here if you don't see System32. So anyway, double click on the System32 folder. And then you just want to drag and drop this DLL file that we saved to our desktop over into this folder. And then when it says move to system 32, like don't drop into one of these random folders, just drop it into the system 32 over here on the right, just so like in a blank area basically. And it says that the destination already has a file named, VC Runtime 140. It may not in your case. Either way, just go ahead and replace the file in the destination. If you don't see anything for that, that means it's fine, just there was no file already in there. So there you go, guys. Pretty straightforward process. You can close out of here. Restart your computer at this point. And that should hopefully be about it. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.